So I live on an island and the topic of rising sea levels and global warming and all that comes up. And uh, there's a lot of information out there. Yes, sea level has been rising. We also know precisely why and, and precisely by how much. We know that the Greenland ice sheet has been warming anomalously and at an ever-increasing rate, and that has been dumping a hell of a lot of fresh water into the Atlantic Ocean. So much that the mid-Atlantic at high latitudes just below Greenland has become so desalinated and so much cooler that the entire globe's uh, thermal incline conveyor belt has slowed down slightly. There's that much fresh water pouring into the ocean. Also, not only from the Greenland ice sheet, but the west side of Antarctic. Recently, in the past six years, we have seen a major surge, a major spike in the amount of fresh water pouring off of these ice sheets anomalously. So much so that the average increase per year used to be 3.1 millimeter. It is now 4.4 meter, meter millimeter and that rate is increasing. We have satellite altimetry that takes many thousands of altimeter recordings from the surface of the ocean to the satellite every second. These altimeter readers readings are then averaged per second, per five second, per 10 second, and then also averaged per region, every kilometer uh, surface or so. And the average shows that the sea level rise can be and has been measured to tenths of millimeters. And these averages are then compared to tidal gauges and they match. So we know with extreme precision how much globally sea levels are rising and we also know within uh, a decent margin of error what sea level is rising per region on the surface of the of entire, entire planet. We know thermal expansion component of that. We also know the fresh water um, rise of that. You sum all these together and they match the satellite recording, the tidal gauge recordings, and other recordings precisely. So we know sea level is rising. We know by how much. We know why, and we know who's the blame. And by the way, that's humanity. If humans were not putting greenhouse gases into Earth's atmosphere, sea levels would currently be declining, not inclining, because Earth is still going into the latest cooling phase of the latest Milankovitch cycle. If humans did not exist, Earth would still be cooling as it had been for 5,400 years before humans discovered coal. Like, you can go online and find a lot of different scientific talks uh, about global warming, about the lack of global warming. I'm no, you will not find any scientific talks out there about a lack of global warming. Not by anyone, not anywhere. I mean, just, there's a huge, huge amount of material. And that's because uh, there's massive amounts of money going into this. Unfortunately, the amount of money being pumped into studying human-caused climate change is a tiny fraction of what it should be. That's because, you know, it's kind of a, it's causing a hysteria and... Okay, I give up. Who's hysterical? Please point to the hysteria out there regarding human-caused climate change. Good luck with that. Uh, it's a big public issue and there's just lots of money getting pumped into it. And this is one of the reasons I'm skeptical of the whole global warming situation is because... Please note that the word skeptical is already taken. It already has a definitive usage. The word you are searching for is denial, not skeptical. When you claim that you are skeptical of human-caused climate change happening, you are asserting that you have no idea if all of the world's geophysicists for the past 170 years 
have been telling the truth or lying. This is denial, not skepticism. As people who blow up more and more out of proportion are making more and more money, so it's kind of... Uh, no. The people making money from human-caused climate change are the ones saying it did not happen and is not happening. The scientists who have come to the conclusion that human-caused climate change has happened and is happening, which, by the way, is all of the world's geophysicists for 170 years or so, a hell of a lot of them are volunteers. They do field work on a volunteer basis. A shitload of them, the majority, have to pay to do that work themselves. They are not being paid to do that. Not only do they volunteer to do that, they have to meet their own expenses. No scientist out there is making a great deal of money from stating the fact that humans have caused and are causing climate change. If they wanted money, they would be saying the exact opposite. 